What's up, beautiful family? It's your girl, Dr. Shauna, and today is Friday, so that means I'm at class with my students. Everyone say hi. Hi. Right? And some people are not here today, but we have a little special project that's going on from now into the end of the school year. And this is why I love teaching students about money, about marketing, about entrepreneurship and everything, because I'm preparing these children here for a future. So I gave them their assignment that's going to be going on from now to the end of the year. Who wants to be bold enough to tell my people what the assignment is? Who's bold enough to do it? Who thinks they can got it? Jeremiah, come on. Come over here. Jeremiah thinks he's my star student. Come over here. Move over there so he can come in your chair. Get up and go in his chair. You got nothing but some haters in his class. So come on and speak loud enough so they can hear you. Come over here with me. Oh, hey. Hey, this is Jeremiah. Oh, he's shy. He is. So what's going to be our project? What are you going to be learning for the rest of the semester? So we will be... Working on what we were doing. So we're gonna have our own businesses, our own jobs, and have our own payments that we have to make. So she's, Dr. Shauna is gonna give us fake money, and then we have to pay all our bills, all our taxes, and everything like that. And at the end, to see who has the most money, then they win. At the end, who who has the most money wins? Oh, that's who, not what I who said. Who gets out of the rat race? Who gets out the rat race wins? And what is the rat race? The rat race is when you keep keeping yourself in this cycle where you keep getting money and spending it, and you can never have a good amount of money. So the rat race is a cycle that many people, many adults are in, where they don't make enough money, or they mismanage their money, mm -hmm. paying down their debt. So every week, or every two weeks, they live in what? Paycheck? What What do I always say again? When you live paycheck to what? Paycheck. paycheck. Paycheck to paycheck. So let me give you guys an example of what we're going to be going over. I'm going to go to the desk. I mean, go to the board so you can see what he's going to get. Okay, so this is the example. Jeremiah is the student. You just heard me mention. His paycheck is going to be $250 every week, not monthly. So, guys, if he's getting $250 every week, how much is he making monthly? How much? How many weeks are in a month? You tell me. I don't know. Four. You want to stop playing with me. $1,000. $1,000 a month. So, I'm going to be breaking it down what his rent is, cell phone, groceries, car note, car insurance, credit card payment, and then his wish list. Things that he wanted to buy for the week. And then he also has his debt. They're also going to be learning about APR on credit cards and understanding how that works. So, each week, each week are, they come in, I'm going to switch this around. This might change. This might change. But this is going to stay the same. The only thing that should be changing is what? My debt. Your debt. And you're right, that's the only thing that should be changing. Should it be going up or should it be going down? Down. Going down. That's the only thing that should be changing. So what they're going to learn is how to budget their money. Because this is a budgeting class, right? This is a budgeting class this year. They're going to learn how to budget their money. They're going to learn how, how the real world works. And they're going to have to learn how to balance their needs against their wants and their desires. The goal is to get out of the rat race. The goal is to make better financial decisions. And they're going to have to learn strategies that they, they can take so that they no longer have to struggle in poverty. Just because we do not make a lot of money doesn't mean that we have to be in poverty. If we only do what with our money? Save. Save. Is it safe? To use our money wisely. And give me one or two examples of using your money wisely. Who's going to tell me? What would be an example of using your money wisely? Really? Spending it on things that you need instead of things that you need. Listen to that word you just used. You said spending it. On things that you need. Using it on things you need and not want. Is that how we use our money wisely? By spending it? What is the only thing that we do that makes money grow? Save. No, come on, guys. Listen, what is the only thing that we do with money that makes money oh, grow? Invest, invest. Say it again. Invest. Say it louder. Invest. 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 See, my students know what's up. <laughs> if y'all interested in contracting me to come in on a weekly basis to teach your students about money and entrepreneurship and finances and budgeting, Hit your girl up, Dr. Shauna.